Hello, uh, welcome to a little uh, tip I came across while I was designing this. Um, what we're working in here is IronCAD 2014, but this I believe goes back to 2010, maybe even sooner. Uh, but what we're going to do here is show you how we can leverage um, feature geometry from one part to another in, well, in, in place, so to speak. So for instance, if I zoom in here a little bit, we're trying to make this latch on this door here, on the blue part is a door on the side of this piece. And I had put a bevel on here. Now, just for aesthetic reasons, I want to have the same bevel on this edge of the blue part here. So it kind of gives me a nice flow. Um, so an easy way to do that is, without having trying to figure out how to match the bevel to here, is if we hit the Alt key, which allows us to select features with one click, so we hold Alt and pick that feature, then I can go, I see the underlying cross section here, so what I can do is right click and say edit the cross section, and then while I'm in the cross section I can double click any geometry, and what double clicking does is basically select the whole closed profile, Okay, and you can see we have it there. And with that highlighter, we just right click on any piece of geom highlighted geometry and say create, extrude. Okay, and now we can say uh, what I want to do is um, this is taking a minute, but we're, we're basically going into the feature, taking that geometry and using it to create a new feature on another part. So why this is taking so long, so bear with me one second here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is select the remove, and then pick the part I want to remove the material from. It shows you here which part, see here, that we're going to be modifying. And we can just say OK. And you can see it has removed that part. Now we can just pull this back a little bit. So we don't cut through the whole thing. part. This is a fairly complex uh, piece. And now you see we have it perfectly matching. Well, we got to just back it off here a little bit, right? Because we don't need to come across there like that. So this is basically just showing you how you can go into uh, feature geometry and extract that geometry to be used in other parts or even the same part if you like but in this case we show you how we can leverage across two separate parts alright I hope you found this useful